I'm sure most of you won't know this, but the very first video that I posted out on my channel is actually a bag review. And during that review, the bag actually literally broke down in the middle of the recording. And I was completely, completely devastated. Like the strap just completely broke off. So if you guys are interested in seeing my reaction, because I was so bad at editing at the time, I just uploaded the video as it is. I'll link it somewhere up there. Um, so I, when I was deciding if I should film this bag, somewhere in the back of my mind, I was thinking, is it maybe bad luck to talk about a bag on camera like this? Because the very first time that I've done so, it completely broke. Let's just hope that this bag survives our review here. And if it does, you know, that means the construction and the quality of the bag is amazing. First, I would like to give you guys a very quick rundown of the features of this bag and just overall how it looks like. What kind of things it's got the one that i have here is in the black pebble leather with silver hardware i believe if you want silver hardware your only option is the pebble leather and if you want gold hardware then um your option is the smooth calfskin kind of leather i just thought the silver one matches the edginess of the bag really well and also makes the bag look a lot um, casual and easier to pair so the front looks like this it's definitely very very structured the side is like that and at the back it's got a very convenient slit opening you could put maybe a phone in here and definitely receipts i definitely see myself putting a lot of receipts in here because i always love to retain my receipts especially the refund ones because they never show up right away on my credit card statement and the interior of the bag is also lined with calf skin and over here it just says Balenciaga on it and the interior pockets or compartment is also lined with leather. Um, I really like that they didn't try to overcomplicate the bag by putting in additional dividers or compartments. Um, and it's just got one zipper coin pouch in there. And the bottom of the bag looks like this. It's curved. The only thing that kind of worries me is that the bag has no feet. Over time, I don't know how well these corners are going to hold up because those are the pressure points. It's got a removable shoulder strap and also a top handle that doesn't, you know, it doesn't collapse down. So it will always stay upright like this. Something to mention about the shoulder strap is that it's got a ridiculous amount of holes punched in for you already. Um, pretty much the whole entire strap is already covered in holes. That is something that I really, really like about this bag. So there's just endless ways. Well, okay, not endless. There's just a lot of ways that you can wear this bag. You can wear it without the strap, with the strap, cross-bodied. You can put it on the side of your shoulders or even making it short enough to become um, like a short shoulder bag even. When I saw this bag in person, I definitely felt like it was a lot smaller than what I anticipated in my head, especially that I have watched a lot of YouTubers um, unboxing videos of this or what's in my bag videos of this. And it just felt like people were putting a lot more stuff in this bag than what it looks like it would hold. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I have the dimension of the bag right here. And right now we're going to try to fill up this bag with um, some of the typical items that I would usually bring with me. So first up is obviously a wallet. And over here I have the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. And it's just small or big enough to be lied down at the bottom like this, which I think saves so much space. Same with an iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 and it also just fits lying down like this. And we'll have a mask in there, hand sanitizer, we have car keys and outside of COVID, um, I will usually have a compact and a lipstick. And right now I will say that I am 80% filled with the bag and I was really just, you know, randomly throwing things in there. I wasn't really trying to play Tetris with it and it fits really well and it's got a magnetic closure that easily closes. I didn't have any problem securing this bag. But I will say for me personally, this bag, it's got a really good size. And for this particular model, Balenciaga does have three different sizes. It's got a small, which is what I have here. And they also have a medium size and an extra small. I think the medium size is a lot bigger than um, the extra small being smaller. 
and I definitely feel like extra small and small are um, two of their more popular sizes. The medium size is actually pretty big if you guys are interested in checking that out. So when I was looking for a bag in my head, I was looking for something that's in between a wallet and chain and a Louis Vuitton Métis. So let me just show you guys. Just because I feel like you might have seen the Louis Vuitton Métis in person a lot more often than the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. So I have the Louis Vuitton Métis bag here and this is the Hourglass bag. And it is quite a bit um shorter and also not as wide so i was looking for something in between this one and um this wallet on chain here here here's another comparison with a wallet on chain bag and the hourglass bag i had this bag for three days now and i'm trying to use it as much as i can so i've been trying to bring it out whenever i go grocery shopping or when I go to pick up a takeout or two. And I've already noticed some pros and cons with this bag. How about let's start with the cons because I just, just because I feel like I've been talking a lot about the pros already. One of the cons is because that they punch so many holes for you and you really now have a lot of freedom as to how sure you want the strap to be. Um, I kind of don't know what to do with the extra strap because right now I have it at a pretty short length, I think. And right now the strap goes even further down than the bag. I think this part of the strap just looks really awkward. So when I'm wearing it, I, te I tend to like stick it through the bag like this so that it doesn't really show. But I kind of just wish that Balenciaga have figured out a way to hide this or maybe like make it go up again. But right now, obviously this doesn't look attractive at all. So... Yeah, I don't have any solutions for them, but you know, that is a problem, I think. And another thing that I noticed is that when you're wearing the bag and you try to access the interior of the bag, you might get into a situation where you can't um, open this bag as wide as you would like to because the top handle just end up hitting your body and stops it from opening further. A lot of times when I'm trying to quickly pull things out, I do feel like I'm just like, I really have to push my hand into the bag to access the item that I want to access. Um, personally, it only just like bothers me like a tiny, a tiny bit. It's not the biggest issue, but it is somewhat of an issue, I feel like. You know, like if I were to compare it to like a Louis Vuitton Métis bag, I definitely don't have that issue with how wide I want to open the flap. Some details I really like about this bag is that once you remove the strap, you get that option to lay the hook of the strap down so that it lays flush against the bag like this, either this way or this way. I just think that it's a really nice detail that when you're not using a strap that you won't have anything distractive on the bag. It just lays down and you barely notice that it's there. Another thing that I really like is the hardware. I really like that the silver hardware is a oxidized kind of silver. It's not like a really shiny and cheap looking silver. It's more of like a muted silver on a darker side, making the bag look really edgy. And I've also tried a lot of outfits with this bag. I think this bag looks great, whether you're wearing just leggings and oversized hoodie or sweatsuits or if you want to dress it up or in this with a bowl coat over a dress it looks awesome either way if you want to dress it up or down making this bag very versatile and also the length of the strap and just the variety of different ways you could wear this bag and now i'll go ahead and insert some of the styling photos i've taken throughout the days on um, how i've styled this bag to show you guys how versatile it can really be i think that is all for the review overall i think this is definitely worth it for the price i am just very pleased with my purchase